What is up everyone? Welcome to another news video. Today we have quite a bit to talk about. Some new tech, some new things here and there. Oh uh, yeah, and Snapchat's releasing AR glasses. I mean, that was to be expected. Let's get right into it. So, first thing that we are going to talk about is the Spectacles 4. And I mean, we mentioned these things before, but the thing is now we actually have some more news in regards to them. So, Snap just announced the new Spectacles with AR capabilities, which it plans to ship to eligible AR experience creators this year. Does that mean us? Could, could we? That would be interesting. Snap Inc. has shipped three Spectacles branded glasses products to date. The previous models didn't have any form of display in them. They functioned solely as wearable cameras. You guys know, like the cool little circular cameras on each side of the glasses that creators used to, well, record Snapchats. The new reveal isn't a total surprise. Yeah, I mean, as I said, we've talked about this before, but the new spectacles have dual waveguide displays with a diagonal field of view of just 26.3 degrees, which isn't a lot, but I mean, at least the display is there. An impressive 2000 nits of brightness and end-to-end -end latency of less than 15 milliseconds, so virtual objects appear solid in place. There is a much narrower field of view than AR headsets like the HoloLens 2 coming in at 52 degrees diagonal and the Magic Leap 1 which is coming in at 50 degrees diagonal and those already feel narrow. So I am reading from Upload VR here. If you guys want to read the full article, of course, it will be down below. But the last thing I want to mention is that these things are actually going to be sporting hand tracking and a Qualcomm XR1 chip, which is, well, slightly outdated. Well, they could be using the XR2. I don't know why they didn't go for the XR2. It definitely would have been a much better choice, much more capabilities, but that makes me wonder, you know, how much is this going to cost and how well is it going to work? I guess we're going to find out soon enough. So you guys remember yesterday I made a video about the Mayo armband, the future of gesture control in VR, which I am actually wearing right now as we speak. Well, it turns out that Bosworth has actually been talking about this. So reading from the Upload VR article, Facebook's Bosworth Control Labs tech years, not decades away for consumers. So Control Labs, as I talked about yesterday, if you guys want to know much more about this technology, definitely check out the video from yesterday. But basically Control Labs and Facebook, Facebook bought out Control Labs, are making armbands that read your muscle activity and then throw that into VR as hand tracking. And here's Bosworth saying that tech is not decades away, it is years away, which is again what I speculated yesterday. This tech that I'm wearing right now is already good enough for me to wear it around all day and use it to control my daily devices, especially since I now have the Myo Tasker plugin. So what Facebook will be able to do when they have this on a whole new level, because you know, it's been a few years. I am unbelievably excited to see what they make out of this for consumers, because it won't just be AR, it won't just be VR, it'll be how we interact with our devices. Come on, come on, no, no, I still don't know how to make that thing go down, come on. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. The Deca move is a massive, massive success. And I mean, I'm not surprised after I tried it out on mobile, I instantly went and bought one. That's some great marketing right there. Release a mobile app, get people to like it so much that they buy it. I must say, smart move. The Deca move has generated over $350,000 in sales over the course of its month long pre-order campaign. So it has been a huge success. And I mean, multiple creators have already gotten their hands on it and they say it is pretty much the future of VR locomotion. Now, according to me, there's still some myths opportunities here and I have talked to the discord about this a few times the deca move has I think and I could be wrong on this please correct me if I'm wrong all the sensors necessary in order to do hip tracking I mean we've done hip tracking with our phones at this point and if I'm correct the deca move does have all the sensors required for that however it's not being used for hip tracking it's only being used for rotation tracking so which way you're facing and according to me that's a missed opportunity because if we can do hip tracking really well with our phones and if this thing has all the sensors necessary what's stopping you from implementing a two-in-one situation but then again I could actually be completely off it might not have all the sensors or the developers might be waiting for the release of the Deca gear where they will push a firmware update for it and that's how they're going to be doing full body tracking with it but these devices these inside out tracked devices where they don't require any sensors are getting more and more popular for full body tracking we've now got slime vr we've got our phones are being used for it it's it's getting more and more popular now here are a few things you guys wanted me to mention on the discord so 
we can now play Red Dead Redemption 2 in virtual reality. You can enjoy Rockstar's groundbreaking action Western game in VR, thanks to a new mod by Luke Ross. So despite having released all the way back in 2018, Rockstar Games' Red Dead Redemption 2 remains one of the most popular video games currently available on consoles and PC. A direct prequel to the 2010 Red Dead Redemption, the Western-themed action game offers one of the most engaging single-player campaigns in recent memory, taking players on an action-packed adventure throughout the Western, Midwestern, and Southern United States during the Wild West era. Now, thanks to a new mod from the developer, you can enjoy the entire game start to finish in VR. So I am reading from VR Scout here again. All articles are always down below for you guys to check out in case you want the entire thing. But if you're a fan of Red Dead Redemption, I actually haven't played it. Yeah, I know people are going to absolutely destroy me for that now since I have heard it is a fantastic game. But if you are a fan of it, you can now play it in VR. So, you know, connect two of your favorite things together if it is your favorite thing, because I'm not going to assume it is. It might not be. It might be. I don't know. But you can now connect two great things together and make them into one even greater greater thing. Here's a cool one. Microsoft's VR patents. And this is actually something that is unbelievably interesting. So again, from VR Scout, Microsoft files patent to bring real world objects to VR. The proposed system would bring physical environment awareness to VR by creating virtual representations of real world objects. So if you think that sounds cool, it's because it does. According to the patent, the VR headset would be able to scan the real world object and throw that into VR as a VR model, a 3D model. So it would basically be doing like real world, real time photogrammetry, you know, kind of scanning the world around you and bring it into VR as 3D models. So it'll kind of stop you from walking into stuff, you know, kind of like obstacle avoidance, but for humans, because humans can't do obstacle avoidance, you know? The patent entitled Transitioning into a VR Environment and Warning HMD Users of Real World Physical Obstacles details a system capable of generating virtual representations of real world objects that come within a certain range of the head-mounted display. According to the documentation, a proximity detection system would be used to identify physical objects before warning the user in VR by creating a relevant digital model layered over the aforementioned object. So that is pretty cool. It's been a while. People have been telling me on the Discord that they want to see some form of headset scanning so that we can actually take that scan and use it. And it does seem like this might be a nice option to do so. Oh yeah, here's another one you guys sent to me on the Discord, and this was actually removed from Reddit for whatever reason. This is pretty cool. So on Reddit, wanted to share this Minecraft demo using our haptic robots. The robot tracks your finger and pushes back at you when you touch something, making it feel solid. You can feel weight, shape, and texture of different blocks. So this is a pretty damn cool robot. Uh, it doesn't seem to be very practical, but that seems to be the case with a lot of these, and then they turn into something absolutely amazing. So huge props to the developers of this robot here right now. It looks really, really cool. And the fact that you can feel texture is amazing. The fact that you can feel weight, I'm going to assume is thanks to that arm pushing back on your finger. So it does look really, really cool. And it's a nice little demo to look at, but you start to see the drawbacks of this exact system here, I mean, you wouldn't be able to move around much. So we kind of have to wait for it to become something more portable, something smaller, something that we can wear on our hands, maybe haptic gloves. Either way, it's a great beginning to something that will hopefully become really big in the future. And here was one that was absolutely spammed at me on the Discord. So basically what's happening here is another Japanese developer seems to have created full body tracking with nothing but a camera. No blocks this time. You won't need AR blocks on your feet, on your anything. This is gonna be using AI and a camera, or so it seems. So this is translated, so it could be completely off. The tweet got translated here. So we are developing a software that anyone can easily use for motion capture. It is okay if at least two cameras, such as smartphones, are connected to the PC. It can also be used for full body tracking in VR. Coming soon. And as you can see, I mean, I don't know about you guys, I get very excited about full body tracking solutions for the masses, and it looks amazing. I mean, I won't lie to you, it, the amount of points it is tracking here, the amount of, like, data points that it is getting, it's not just getting feet, it's not just getting hips. You can see all the data points, and then you can see how accurate it really is. It is actually 
incredible, I am certainly going to be very, very excited to see what this turns into and whether it becomes a viable solution for us because webcams are certainly much cheaper than lighthouses and vibe trackers. And even if somebody was to buy four webcams and place them in each corner of the room and connect them to the software, it would still turn out cheaper. Even a good webcam would turn out cheaper. So I guess it all kind of depends as how good this is going to be. And yeah, I'm unbelievably excited to check this out when it does come out. And you bet we're going to be making another cheap full body tracking video. I feel like we should just have an entire channel dedicated to cheap full body tracking. But I must say it is very impressive and I cannot wait to see what comes out of it. And here's another video that was sent to me on the Discord once again. So this video is titled MRTV Free Aim VR One Minute XR Startup Pitch. And it seems that the person in this video, Free Aim VR, has created kind of roller-like shoes that allow you to walk in VR like real-life locomotion. You're able to walk, like roll around the ground. But here's the catch. Usually with these kind of shoes, you would need, well, a chair to sit on, for example, for cyber shoes. Or you would require something to tie you up to the ceiling to hold you in one place so that you don't fall over and damage yourself. But here, it seems none of that is needed at all. He is just walking freely on these shoes and it seems to be working very well. If it works as well as is shown here and if it proves to not damage you by making you fall over, why am I saying damage? Humans don't take damage. No, they do, but like, yeah, okay. If it is as good as shown in this video and if it works, it is going to be amazing. If this is consumer worthy and we can buy this and it works, it could not only fix motion sickness for the people that can't get rid of it, but it could also increase immersion by a mile because you wouldn't even require a huge treadmill. You could just use these as omnidirectional shoes. That's a thought for you right there. Instead of omnidirectional treadmills, omnidirectional shoes. Well, that is where we end today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. And if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, but would like to join us, make sure to join our Discord down below. Make sure to join our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick merch down below that doesn't put a huge ad on your body, and mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. And if you guys want to be notified of future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to like, subscribe button with you for doing my balancing in the next video. Peace.